everyone, it's Pussy at octogames.com here, and today we are doing Bookmas Day 4. Okay, so I will go first because Cooper went first last time. So you just hold your horses. I don't know if they're physically horses, but you should hold them anyways. We've got the number one bestseller, Stephen King. My turn. Which I've heard this is really good. So, Cooper, you open. What's in that? What's that? What's that, Cooper? A what? A what? What is it? Oh, Cooper, you got the giving tree. And it's by the guy who wrote Sidewalk. It's not a, a picture. Okay, so this is one of my dad's favorite books when he was little, and it's a collection of short horror stories. Interesting. By Stephen King. Yes, by Stephen King. Okay. And I think he released it as Bachman. It was back when he was writing under a pseudonym. Okay. It was one of the Bachman books. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool work. Do you want and when he became famous, he went Yay. back and we released them all under his real name. We okay, mom, you do. There's you some want scary me? stuff in there that's really good. You'll like it. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. That looks like a Greek crown. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. And, and they would go and they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. And the tree was very much and the tree was happy but time went by and the boy grew older and the tree was often alone then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said come boy come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy i am too big to climb and play said the boy i want to buy things and have fun i want money can you give me some money I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples, said, said the tree. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you'll have money and you'll be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy. Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said boy. Said the boy, I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off the branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the, boy, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old to sadden. To, I am too old and sad to play," said the boy. "I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give? Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat," said the tree. "Then you can sail away and be happy." And the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. "I'm sorry, boy," said, said the tree, "but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for the apples," said the boy. My branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I, that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old trunk. Sorry. I don't need very much now. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the tree was happy. The end. Is that a good book? Yeah. Do you want to read it over and over again? Yeah. You want to read it tonight for your book? Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.